Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, I'm back out here on the walking trail after weeks and weeks of not being able to walk it. I'm still a little bit wobbly from shingles down in this left ear, messing with my equilibrium, but I just feel like I can walk it out, exercise it out. So even though people may look at me and think I'm drunk with the little bit of wobble I got going on for the past three days, well, the last two days I walked a two mile trail. Today I'm walking it again. Uh, I feel like I'm getting better a little bit every day. So today I want to see if there's any fire makers out here. This is the same section of the trail that goes up through the cemetery. Well, I made it to the halfway point and turned around. Haven't found anything that we haven't tried already. Maybe we can find something on the way back. There's a Dr. Pepper can. Let me climb up there and get that, and I'll show you how I polish the bottom of those cans again. Turn them into a good solar collector. Here's the metal polish that I use, Blue Magic Metal Polish Cream. Good stuff, you can give it at any auto parts store. Advanced Auto, AutoZone. I imagine all the other ones have it also. I was wanting to show you this in real time, but I guess three to five minutes is too long to have you watch me do something like this. This is just regular cotton t-shirt. We're gonna use this for the polishing rag. We're going to saturate it with ashes for ash tinder, and then we're going to use some of the rest of it for the tinder bundle. Please visit my solar playlist. I probably got, I think, I think I have over 60 solar videos in it. And you're just going to polish it like you would do anything else, just a little dab. There's the before with the writing on there. Just work on it for a few minutes. I spin the can about 90 degrees to get e equal polishing around the surface. All right, now I'll buff that out. That's really shiny there, but I like to give it one more good coat, one more good buffing. And I'm gonna show you just how shiny it is. Like a mirror, you'd be able to see me in the reflection or you'd be able to see the clouds in the sky, but we're under trees right now. Let me show you this. Can you see me upside down in there? <laughs> that is a shine that you cannot get with toothpaste, chocolate, fine mud, or anything else in nature. There's the trees I'm under. There's the clouds. That is shiny. Let's try it out. All right, let's go ahead and make up our ash tender. Just any old wood ashes from a previous fire is all you're gonna need. But you do have to saturate it through and through, front and back and in the middle if you can get it, if you can get it worked into there. I need to do an experiment and see if it has to be 100% cotton. I'll bet you it doesn't. I bet you a 60% blend of cotton would still work with the ashed tinder technique. Yeah, 
And I'm going to ignite the most ashed part of this, which looks like it's right here. You want to find the hottest part of the focal point on your finger first. Then go to your ashed claw. Got so much sweat in my eyes. And you see, you, I can't see under it, so I'm having to adjust it back and forth. And there goes a cloud in front of the sun. Hold on, we'll wait for a clear sky, and we'll try it again. I think I'll set you up higher so that I can look up underneath it and see when that focal point is right. now hopefully I can keep you in view and see on the bottom side of that let's try it right 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 there let's see if that's the right spot for it This is the beauty of ash tender. You won't find a weaker ignition source than this can right here. I wouldn't say that even an empty a bic, you know how we use these, the mini ferro rod in there? Even that's a stronger igniter than this, the, the polished up bottom of this aluminum can. And that's just gonna sit there and keep on burning. It's gonna completely consume itself up until I get ready to use it. Let's go ahead and I'll set you back over, over here at the saw horses and we'll go ahead and uh, just ignite a piece of that fabric to flames. Alright, it's burning on down. I guess you can't see that, can you? Let's go ahead and ignite that fabric. Well, this could take a minute or two. Fabric's harder to go, get to go to flames than anything else. But it's good practice. get more fabric in there. Usually cloth will go to flames a lot quicker than that. There it goes. Good night.
<laughs> Finally made it go. All right, y'all. Once again, just would like to get out here and practice a little something every day. Um, get out here and practice a little something every day. Ash tender. Yes, I know. I don't get a lot of views when it comes to solar ignitions. I don't think there's a lot of people as interested in it as I am, but it's one of my favorite forms of making fire. And so I like to do every kind of twist and turn and try to come up with different ways to use it. But um, all right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. We'll catch you on the next one.